Hi guys, a big welcome back to my channel and before I introduce this video I want to give a big big shout out to Miss Taylor. I will link her channel on the description box. She's an amazing makeup YouTuber. I've recently subscribed to her channel and we recently started supporting each other so I just wanted to give her a big big shout out so make sure you follow my girl. So today's video is going to be a kettlebells cardio circuit followed by an abs workout. So why I've combined them together is because I find cardio very 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 boring to train now if you follow my Instagram you will know that I moan about it all the time if you don't follow my Instagram what are you doing go and follow my Instagram the link is on my YouTube banner so make sure you follow me so you don't miss any of my short clips at the gym or any of my motivational posts so anyway I digressed so I'm bringing you an abs workout and a cardio workout so I'm combining the two things that I don't particularly like to train but we still have to train together so we get them out of the way in one day and then we can concentrate on the big lifting days so let's get to the workout so guys there's five exercises in my circuit and there will be no rest in between each exercise only at the end of completing all five you then can have a couple of minutes rest drink some water and do the circuit again five times and this is really going to get your heart rate up and get you burning some unwanted calories for the first exercise you're going to be doing some kettlebell toe taps and depending on your fitness level you want to be aiming between 30 to 60 toe taps This next exercise is one of my absolute favorites. I've been doing it since the start of my fitness journey, so it's been two years now. It's a kettlebell swing. It's one that for beginners is really easy to get the posture right. So I guarantee you guys, the ball is not gonna swing out and hit someone. It's absolutely fine. Just make sure you keep your back nice and straight and you pop your hips and squeeze your glutes at the top and you wanna be doing 15 reps. So if you're not a beginner, then I've prepared this little variation of the previous exercise for you or even if you are a beginner and you've done the previous exercise and you're watching this one and you're thinking hey I want to have a go then please do this is an alternate kettlebell swing and you're going to be doing 10 reps on each arm that's a total of 20 reps this next exercise is a single arm kettlebell snatch and you're going to be doing 10 snatches on each arm so that's a total of 20 reps if you are fairly new to fitness then just make sure that you take the movement a little bit slower so you get used to the correct form of the exercise This next one is a little bit quirky, it's called a figure eight and the clue is in the name. You're gonna be doing an eight around your legs, so only when you've gone around both legs that counts as one rep and you're gonna be doing that 10 times. If this is a new exercise to you, just take it a little bit slower until you get used to the momentum. So this is the last exercise of this circuit. We're gonna do some nice and easy lunges and you're gonna finish off strong by completing 10 reps. But remember guys, at the end, you have a couple of minutes rest and you complete the circuit five times. Now that you've smashed cardio, you're gonna work on your abs and work on getting a nice tight core and a tight tummy. So there's three exercises in this circuit and you're gonna complete the circuit five times and try your hardest not to have rest in between each exercise only rest for a couple of minutes at the end of completing all three for the first exercise you're going to be doing a kettlebell half get up this is my own little variation because I've got my knees bent and you're going to hold the weight up on each arm and do 10 crunches on each side so that's a total of 20 crunches
You guys will be familiar now with toe taps because we've done it previously. This is a variation of that because you're going to be doing the toe taps while you're planking. So depending on your fitness level and how good your core strength is, you're going to be doing between 30 to 60 toe taps side to side. Last but not least, this is the last exercise of this circuit. These are some leg raises. I really feel the burn with this exercise. You're gonna be doing 10 reps of this. And as I said, try and keep your legs straight and you're really gonna feel the burn. This will really get your core and your lower abs as well. So you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed my workout today. If you have, don't forget to give my video a big thumbs up and also drop a comment down below if you've got any ideas or suggestions that you'd like me to bring to the channel, that being on the fitness videos or on the makeup videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Bye guys. Bye.